How's it going guys? Um, today I want to talk about the beam system tool. This is really helpful for uh, doing like a structural plan or framing uh, plan. Um, so you'll start out by either tracing or copying your uh, your floor. Mm -hmm. Like say you're on your first floor, you'll, you'll do that. But for the sake of this, I'll just um, draw out kind of a a shape of you know what what a house might look like I guess we're not quite square there um, all the same commands work trim and extend and, and all that stuff um, but one of the key things to know is the beam direction so in this house um, I think we'd rather have the beam spanning this way than we would this way um, and maybe just to exaggerate that I'll bring in I'll bring in this wall just to kind of exa exaggerate that a little bit so we'd rather have the beams running this way than this way because it's a shorter distance so I need to pick a line that runs that way and you see these these three lines and I have to select the beam direction tool so you see the the two lines rather outside of the normal line that indicates that the beams will run parallel to those lines and then uh, over here you can you can edit the type but let's just finish this and let's take a look at it so you see that we've got a, a beam system and if I were to go to 3d let's click on our house you see that we have some uh, eye joists and these look like they might be steel or something and there are other ones I don't have them loaded in right now but there are other um, beams that can be loaded in let's see if see if it'll let us do it oh boy yeah so I don't have any other ones loaded in right now but you could go to load and you could go to uh, structural framing you can go to wood and you could get dimensional lumber, you could get uh, the glue lamp beams, you could get LVL, you get a plywood web joist, this is what we typically use, or, or a TJI um, web joist. So you've got some options and you can load those in and it will change all of them in your system um, to be that if you wanted. Uh, so really helpful for, for drawing out a framing plan because then you can come on down to like a first floor framing plan if you've created a sheet for that I don't have one right now but you'll have your beams all laid out and you can call them out really easy um, add your rim board and stuff like that and you'll be good to go